Five seconds OGs remaining. OGs turn to ban. PSG LGDs turn to ban. OGs turn to ban. PSG LGDs turn to ban. OGs turn to ban. PSG LGDs turn to ban. OGs turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. PSG LGD Grimstroke. Ten seconds remaining. PSG LGD. Man stands ready. Warlock. OGs turn to bad. Bad Rider! PSG LGDs turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. OGs turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. PSG LGDs turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. PSG LGDs turn to pick. OGs turn to pick. League's assassin. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining.
Né? Né? Dou. Né? Dou. 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 PSG LGD. Morphling. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. OG's turn to pick. Legion Commander. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Né? Dou. Né? Dou. 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 PSG LGD. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. No. OG's turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Uh. OG's turn to pick. PSG LGD. Shadow Demon. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. P 
Choose your hero. You know what's cooking? Boom! Thank you very much, Jimmy. It's game two, OG versus PSG LGD in the hero picks. We're seeing some some OG flair once again. Looks to be uh, what we expect to, to be tops in playing the mid SD. It, it's done. It's worked for them in the past. I mean, you know, this is sort of their last chance here. Is it going to work against LGD? I'm just really curious. I want to see what type of build he goes. If he does something like, uh, I know he's done a few times where he goes for like Solar Crest on these non-traditional sure, yeah. heroes just to buff up your core, right? Because he's also he's an SD and he has a morphling. He can get these disrupted, you know, disrupted morphings that can go off too, so it's very interesting. I also think it's kind of neat versus the Sven. Like they were talking about at the end there, the Soul Catcher, and you're always going to be able to dispel that Warcry, right? With your ulti if you throw it on. So, yeah, I mean, I'm intrigued. I'm really interested in how it's going to work out. I think LGD, they got really comfort heroes. Chalice, he's one of the few players that we're still seeing. Oh, there's a couple, but he's one of the few that we're still seeing playing the Legion, and it's a nice Legion game, right? He was versus... That Batrider, the lane, he can put pressure, he has a Warlock on his team, and I feel like Sven's probably one of the best heroes that you can press the attack in the game. You press the attack of Sven with God's Strength. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's... He hurts. He's but, chasing you down. But the combos, right? We gotta watch for the combos again on OG. Can, can they get it off? We've gotta watch for the Soksh Kabat. Yeah. Stepping up the difficulty, I feel, right? We've seen his clock as Jakira, now the Batrider. How's he gonna do? It's definitely a tougher one. We'll see how he can do in the laning phase in particular. I think I think securing Ana's farm is going to be hard. That's the biggest thing I'm concerned, at least for OG in the start of this game. Ana. Oh. Deep, deep breath there really quickly. A bit of a scary move there for PSG. They could have nearly found him. They tip him immediately. They know. Stay hidden, sir. But yeah, this is... I, I feel like the pressure that comes out from top could be... Pretty difficult for them to deal with, and I do believe it, it does look like they're gonna run this aggro lane. They're gonna put this chalice in the bottom lane. They're even giving him extra regen on the Legion Commander so he can be down there. So yeah, they're really trying to put pressure on Morphling. And look at the wards they place too. We see aggressive wards coming out from LGD to scout if there's any changes of lanes coming out. We see that deep ward so they can know the lane immediately. And so yeah, talking about this, this mid lane, we'll see. And Tops and Shadow Demon, we've seen it before. Yeah, I wonder how he's going to do in this lane. Oh, yeah, but that's, yeah, I was going to ask you, you know, how, how does the mid SD fare against the Lesh? I feel like... He should do fine, I yeah, feel like. Yeah, the poison's going to be... It's going to be annoying for maybe, right? Yeah, What's... I feel like he should do really well in the lane, but at the same time, too, you're feeding stick charges. You know you're against SD as sure. a, like a Lesh. You're going to get a stick right away. So, yeah. But the thing is, at Topson, you have higher base damage. That's the other thing that's nice for SD. And you've got a good animation, so... There's always good ways that you can play around getting last hits, using disruption right there to secure some as well. But I feel like he should be able to get a decent amount of farm here. So let's see the lanes right now. As we see top, there's an aggressive play coming out immediately. We've got the stun onto the two of them. One's as well on those creeps. So Anna is taking heavy damage and enough to bring him down. First blood for PSG LGD. 
A big one as well, taking the morph out of the lane. It was always going to be a tricky one against this aggro try of PSG LGD. Getting that first blood couldn't go any sweeter for them. Yeah, that's why I was literally just hiding inside of the tree lines there. He gets the stun, he wants to secure the range creep, he will get it up top there. A lot of sticky stacks on him though. Right, he's able to play it safe and get back. And once he's got that level 2, at least when he chooses to put the point in the spike carapace, it will make it very hard for the two of them to punish him, even if those stacks do build up. In the pull through as well, and FY just trying his best to make sure the Sosha can't really get in and find much at all from it. Chal Chalice is eating the pressure fine down here too. Has gone through already two or three of those tangles that he's been given to, but he has to press the attack as well, so he has that extra regen. He also has the ability, right there we see, dispels that Infernal Blade. Very important for him to be able to do that. We're gonna see up top, Soshka was trying to poke around, get involved in that pull. Whoa. And meanwhile, bottom, he actually hits level three and just nukes the wave and gets Seb. 1v2, getting that kill. Oh, that's Nova? Did he, uh, maybe a little bit of a misclick there? I was going to say, he hit the tower, not not the hero. Looks like he went for like an auto attack, right? Oh, mid lane too. Oh my god. At bottom, they will maybe be able to find challenge in return. I said maybe they're trying to. He's got a tango regen and he's actually going to be fine and able to walk it off. But getting a solo kill against a duo lane, that, that shouldn't happen. Yeah. But it did. Chalice, all smiles. He played that, like, beautifully. Just the way he turned, got level 3, skilled the nuke. Mid, we also did see for a moment, just on the HP bars in particular, because it was just a quick one, he got 6 stacks on him. So he got chunked down to nearly, like, 150 or 200 HP or so. Chalice, wants to be a little careful now. He's now out at the regen. Can only really rely on the passive to get him some of those heals. The top lane aggression, though, is just absolutely perfect from PSG LGD, getting in every time. At least two man stuns from FY. Following up the fatal bonds, it's so much pressure on this top lane for OG. And they glyph the wave, so they're looking to dive this one here. The creep wave is coming under Saksha in a Easy lot of trouble. trouble. The bat is dead, and Anna will be chased around. Jax has come up with an ink swell. Try and keep them away from the morph, and we'll do for now, but still sitting incredibly low, Anna. It's been shadow word. It does still have strength to morph into FY trying to nuke him down. Anna just playing around on the lowest of HP. Arme still here. Another two man stun from FY. Anna now starting to play it safe for shift back into the strength. But so much pressure. OG almost need to have the three heroes up here to ensure Anna's safety as they will now turn, look towards FY, and will manage to get a kill. Soska able to chase down the next assassin and FY no spells to throw back out to keep himself safe. And meanwhile also Seb gets a return kill. He solo kills Chalice now. A little bit of revenge. And that's a bigger kill too because now you're getting that big bonus gold. He has 450. He has like full phase boots on Doom after that. That makes that 1v1 a lot harder. Yeah, for and Chalice we, now. We see in this mid lane. Look at those last hits. See Thompson doing a great job of being able to secure those. He's had to expend a couple mangoes, but being able to get himself a rune in particular down bottom earlier has allowed him to be able to spam constantly. Now, of course, we did see uh, maybe he has bottled up an arcane rune for the time being, but we see Chalice and Seb just constantly trading blows. Seb coming out quite a bit ahead of this one here, though, even though Chalice was able to get that solo kill. Up top. Sort of a, the pressure from the bat now able to do enough for the, the level two to just sort of hold them back as now PSG LGD have to decide who they want to make a go on. A go towards out, they're going to be able to burst him. He's Ooh. just by the creep wave, underestimating the the burst damage from their lineup, and Anna's just dead immediately out. Yeah, it's only level three too. So even if he does get the shift off, it's it's still pretty weak. It's once you hit level five that that shift actually starts becoming really easy for you to survive. Is mid lane. Did you get the stroke of fate connection? Of Five stacks! Oh baby! Just absolutely evaporated there to the poison of Thompson. A little bit of a poke as well from Jerry's of course helping out. But that that's the power of the mid shadow demon. I am loving it already. It's having I mean look at that. 37 to the 19 of the lash. He is using the disruption to get extra denies over and over again onto maybe and he's doing a fantastic job, Thompson. He is absolutely destroying that mid lane. It's his bread and butter, the mid SD. Not something that everyone can do for sure, but he certainly can. And he's showing it a full force here so far in the laning stage. And maybe just, he wasn't ready for it. As elsewhere, side lanes, you know, four to three. 
Less than a 1k difference, and a the, much better start for OG compared to that game one. And the lanes are breaking. Morphling's starting to get room, starting to get close to level 5, where he can always be able to just get that shift off. And now, yep, that, that aggro tri lane, they got the kills, but now Morphling's gonna be able to catch back up and farm just fine up here. They're not gonna be able to chain stun and bring him down by any means with their draft, with their, uh, with their, tri with their tri lane now. They can look for the support still. It's still hard to do. Anytime Sasha's got Firefly available, they, they struggle to chase him after that initial stun. He, he knows that he's pretty safe here. As that sort of early threat of the Fatal Bonds into stun, is, it's going to fall off. Well, Zana gets those stat items, gets those levels. Now, there'll no longer be situations where they can burst down the morph, even with the help of the damage output with the Fatal Bonds. Yeah, they'll need, a, they'll need one of the other heroes to come in there, too. They'll probably need one of the cores, maybe the Lesh or the uh, Legion Commander to be able to make a rotation up. Not right now, but within the next few moments, we could see that happen as... Stun, FY. So they can get him. They're on to Soska. Soska trying to dance around. The Inkswell's done won't come off in time. So Soska will fall. FY able to find him. Well, having to worry about being gone on in return. Bottom lane. Both Seb and Chalice now hitting the level six. Seb's getting much more out of this lane. Mid lane. Maybe he's being maybe he's being very careful. He has to be, of course, as that SD hits level 6, you can just get turned on. If you get, like, two stacks on you, that means he's inevitably going to probably be able to get five if you're not positioned, like, at your tower. Because he can use the purge and then also the disruption to get a couple more. Despite those early kills, it certainly feels that that early kill potential has blown up a little bit. They'll try again here, along with the creeps, fed upon him, but Anna knows that he's strong. He's level 5. Stands his ground, knows that they can't get him back down towards the bottom. Maybe is able to find Jerex, but Tops is the one with the bigger cleanup. There will be a successful duel, though, for Chalice, as he comes in, makes the rotation, and will be able to find that bonus. They were chasing him for quite a while there, too. It looked like uh, they expected that he was going to farm in the jungle, because he was not really shown so much in the mid lane. Why not? Top. Uh, this time they, they, get go, they get him. It looked like they were, were not going to be able to get away with that burst for the levels that he had, but they do. They kept the kill. Sosha trying his best to find the trade. There's six stacks on Arme, a big stroke of fate as well for Jerex. We'll get them the trade kill, but maybe CP it in. Find Sokska. Gets himself right back out of the map and right back to finding those kills. This is all action in all of the lanes. Eight minutes in, nine to six. It's that death on Ana is very surprising. He did not expect him to stay up there with the two he's, heroes. He slipped up a couple of times on the morph in this lane. Yeah, he stayed a, just a little bit too low versus a duo. As top again, we see Jerex getting chased. The stun, both stuns miss. Jerex is breaking their ankles. The poisons, it's enough. They missed everything and maybe he's dead. Thompson getting the time to lay down the damage. The tips come out as well and that, oh, that's got to be a little tilting. Both FY and maybe missing the stuns. Fancy footwork. This mid SD. I think it's it's breaking down maybe he's less. And look at this bottom. I hear a doom. See if Seb's got the damage to finish it off. He's got a good chase potential. Keeping on top. One more hit should push him down. There is a shadow word here. Lex Nova. He comes in. That will keep Chalice safe. That's a big one. Doom having that very long cooldown, two and a half minutes or so. Being able to counteract that one is going to be pretty nice. Now they don't have to worry about that one up on any of these type of aggressive moves that come out. As Saksha looks like he's trying to mess with Ame here a little bit. I mean, it's doing his work. Making sure that Ame doesn't get the full sort of chance to free, free farm these camps up. Saksha Keeping... just trying to be as annoying as possible. Bottom lane, Chalice playing around on low HP. I mean, X Nova's no longer here. Chalice is alone. He's got five sticks charges, and with the phase boots, the movement speed required to get out of, out of Seb's reach. But Jerex is here as well. Chalice still hanging around. I mean, if Jerex hits the, hits the spells, he's, Chalice is going to be... He's so low. He's getting incredibly greedy here. Does now have the boost away. Has the bottle charges yeah. as well given from his teammate to heal him up a little bit more, too. I mean, One I mean, or two of those. They're maybe just trying to bait in a bit of action from OG Dana because Chalice does want to get off another duel. Three heroes around. So he's going for the it. Opportunities. He closes in on the Doom. Unlikely to be able to kill him during the duel, but should get the kill nonetheless. They get the kill. Chalice now, turnaround's there from top, so TP's in, able to disrupt, maybe hold him back, make sure the space is there for him to kill off Chalice. They're just cause, trying to cause havoc. I think that's the plan for OG right now. Make stuff happen on the opposite side of the map of where Ana is. Ana just needs all the space in the world to try to catch back up in this one. And that's it. You're just, you're just running, put the pressure on, and they have a mid SD, so Ace, that's, that's what he wants SD to be doing. Well. Look at him walking around the map with the double nulls and the ether lens. Nearly level 12 as well. You cannot underestimate what Thompson can do. He's got four kills so far this game. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, 
Austin. double way of he can play, right? He can play in the aggressive potential, but also in the saving factor. The SD versus that Legion commander can always be a thing. He can always be in the back to save his teammates as well. Goes FY with the Vendetta. See what he can find to open up. The scan did come out from OG, so should be aware that something as this is going on. And in fact, they'll know for sure that Spike Carapace sending back the Shadow Poison. They're going to bring in extra members. Jarex hit alongside both Soska and Topson. All members of PSGLGD also around this area of the map as they'll start to wrap in as looking to, to potentially get some vision, get some wards down there. Fight. You have Doom available now on the side of OG. The one thing you have to be careful about making some aggressive moves is there's a Warlock. He's level 6. But here's the setup. Demonic Purge slowing down Chalice, allowing Soska to walk in. Easy lasso drags him back into the Inkswell stun. The pickoff's complete. And they can do this many, many times. 50 seconds and Topson will be able to go again. Just using that Purge to allow his teammates to run down the enemy. Clean and easy. They can't turn it into anything, unfortunately, for themselves. They can't actually push this tower out of it because their only real tower pusher is the Morphling, who's still... He's in recovery mode. Big time recovery mode, too, up to that top four net worth. But they get that kill at least and slow down a little bit of Chalice's momentum. Of course, all whilst this is happening, Anna's Morph. Yeah. The space is there up top. He's got the purse. He's already got the Perseverance. This is a game where you absolutely need the Lincoln Spear, sure. You can't block the Nyx stun with the it, but everything else, you know. There's so many different things that you can. There are a lot of ways that LGD can play around it, though. Even with, like, a Fatal Bonds from the distance, they have tools to be able to break it when he does have it. But they do have saves as well, like we were talking about. OG, they have ways to protect. Might have sound, Armic. A little slower than would have hoped for. Yeah. But he was in an aggro tri lane, so it it's like, you know, that's... It's likely to happen. You can't always just hope for absolutely everything to go your best when you're uh, running an aggro as... Topson's trying to come in with a smoke play. See if he can find Chalice showing in lane. Meanwhile, back over to the bottom half, maybe. He's able to move in. FY was sat there, then deaded up underneath them. They weren't prepared. The Chalice. sun was there. Chalice trying for the duel. Jarek's here to help out. Kelly Offering's down. Topson very deep for this. The duel will not be successful. Topson's still alive for now. Getting the poison out. The Chalice is being healed up. Arme's here as well to make sure Topson does not get away with that. A very aggressive dive behind that tier one tower. And it does cost him. And it gives the kill to Ame. I feel like that's the best case scenario there for LGD that he gets that last hit there with that storm hammer. Even though they'll get the duel or whatever, it doesn't matter. They get the kill on that Sven. Topson. I mean, that's a very top 10 move, right? He's he's feeling confident. He's level 13, so he can make those aggressive plays, but he has the XP gain talent. So when you do die, you're giving up a lot here. CFY, showing himself bottom. Maybe he doesn't want to be a part of this. He's going to TP back over to the jungle, clean up some neutral camps. Make sure that he can get that Yule Scepter done ASAP. Very close to having it. And we'll give him uh, that more of a chance if they do try and run him down. He's actually going to have the high ground advantage as he walks down. Soshka's there. Soshka goes for the lasso, trying to disable him long enough to keep himself alive, but it doesn't matter. The AoE damage being fired out by this last track. He's getting he's surrounded, out. though. Demonic Purge. And hey, Soshka will take that. A successful bait. The bat's gone. They instantly so smoke. The they want to try to get something else out of it here, but LGD, they have a ward there. They did see the smoke coming out. Chalice is ready, running behind that tower to protect himself. See what they can get his arm, mate. Closing in on the echo. Chalice closing in on the blink. They want to try to stall this push as long as possible on the side of LGD. OG, they're trying to force it. He's going to show himself still to remain hidden in the trees. Chalice starting to step forward, but with Jarex here as well. He's got to be careful how he heads forward. An extra TP coming in towards that mid lane. FY, he's going to be straight into the trees. Gets the stun knock. It'll be a defensive disruption from Thompson. Keeping Jarek safe from any, from any further attempt to set. He just charges in. Inkswell's upon him. The burst down FY. There's the soulbind silence. On to two of them. They have to retreat. Both X Nova and Chalice have got to be careful. X Nova low and out of mana. Anna gets the tier one tower. A solid move by OG. They know that the rock was committed top. You know, they want to. They want to and they need to try to get these early game towers when they have this type of lineup. You know, Morphling, he needs some time before he becomes like that great tower hitter, of course. And a bit of a gold boost from across the map, getting him very close towards having the ultimate orb. Yeah. Maybe also did not have TP available when they were trying to defend that mid tower there on the side of PSG LGD, so. Derex will get spotted by the Yules. Set up that Yules combo. Being revealed, maybe. Can find quick and easy picks as this. If he finds anybody caught out on their own, up so much potential, the power of the Lesh. As it is these kills that will allow him to catch back up with the farm of Thompson's SD, but as it stands, Thompson 
Still very much holding on to that top spot in farm, level with Arme and his Midas. And they're able to now get, they're pushing bottom now too. They get two towers during the downtime of Chaotic Offering. Now PSG LTD, they do have that available again here. So the team fights are definitely looking really strong for them. They also have the Blink Dagger finished up on Chao, so they have ways to initiate. That's the one thing that OG... Okay, now they do actually have it too. They have the Blink on Seb, so I was gonna say, they are lacking a little bit on their initiation, but with this Blink Dagger on Seb, it can really change the tide. They can get these double dooms off now. He even also has the War Stomp. So he's gonna be the one to allow Saksha to be able to get in close, to be able to get that double lasso if possible. They are gonna find Saksha up top. Leading out of that top lane with a Firefly, a bit of a surprise in the trees, Arme comes out. Lasso will be used, Soshka, is there anyone coming in to help him? There is not, he's gone. As Arme commits for the kill. And that money continues to roll in. This time around, it's Arme to be that core that stands strong at the top. Ahead of OG's three core set, mid lane. Goes for the jump in, Carapace was out in time on F5 with the follow up silence into the ink swirl. More than enough disable for OG to get the support kill. But for the time being, PSG LGD will be able to find the tier 2 top. No defense from OG. And in fact, PSG LGD will be able to take the tower, get back towards mid, and make sure that they do not lose the tier 2 yet themselves. I mean, they have their rock. OG has to be a bit careful here how they commit forward in the fight. Ana has a Lincoln's Field finished up, but he's not in the fight. You know, he's just still playing back and playing the farm game for a little bit here. As a. You know, talents, very important in particular on that Shadow Demon. That's why we see, of course, him goes for that XP gain, now level 15. So, the Shadow Poison, a lot more damage coming out from it. When he hits level 20, that's the next big spike for him. I mean, that's, that's a lot more as well. That's, that's not a small percentage no, increase. On the, on the, in the individual stacks, sure, it's not really that much. But once you get, if when you get that 5x, yeah. You do the maps and it, it hurts. Oh, yeah. We've seen already how easy it's been for Thompson to burst down some of these cores, especially Especially the less track, maybe has to be careful with his Jules usage. And the mid lane, they'll go for the blink it. Thompson, it's yours. Thompson's gonna be able to walk back it. As Chalice is held back, the Lincolns is gonna be able to block the duel. And they'll see if they can change for something. It's a big goal on the fall, but is there the follow up damage? Arme, he's trying to get in with the soul one attaching him to the rock. He just gets burst out by Anna, and now in the back line, Seb, he's just running past the wall straight on the Chalice. And maybe he's trying to turn, focus the damage down onto the Doom, but Seb's still alive. Keep the distance, finally forced, but they've lost two on PSG LGD. Anna's in on top of maybe the heal will be there for Chalice, but there's the play break, the poison tops, he gets the double kill. Ooh. OG. Taking three for one in a fight where a four-man rock was dropped, it didn't matter. Chalice got a little cheeky there. He didn't get to click on the Morphling before he saw it, so he just instantly went for the duel. It gets wasted there, and Ahmed, sure, he sees a great rock coming out, but there's still a lot of control coming out from the side of OG. There's still a ton of magic damage, pretty much all magic damage coming out early game. He doesn't have the BKB yet on Sven. Banana straight back to the farm. And, and he's, that, that, he's gonna mean, take the top, he's gonna take the top spot. He, he really is, that sort of top lane where there's few mistakes were made, where he lost his life has all been forgotten. He is back on par with Arme. I, I feel like if you're Arme now, you're pretty much like, I don't get involved into another team fight situation. Maybe I can look for like kills with the God Strength, something like that. A team fight though, I'm not doing that until I beat him. He's gotta get it. It's, he's quite a it's, ways away from it too. The, the fights, uh, yeah, as you see, they're impossible without it for him. Unless they get some sort of perfect five-man disable, which is going to be hard. F white. Let's find a freebie though. That is the Thompson SD, and maybe they can get more out of this. Is Seb taking down to half? Chalice has got the control. The duel's back, and they'll get the second one. PSG LGD able to capitalize on OG going out a little nonchalantly on that top lane, and they instantly lose two cores and bonus damage for Chalice as well on top of that. And sure, that, that, he doesn't want to join into a team fight, but that situation there, yeah. it's a pick-off. It's the yeah. Nexus Assassin setting up perfectly for it to be able to get that kill for him. I mean, they, OG, it feels like they just need to keep better tabs on FY's movement for the, for the, the whole 20 minutes of this game. He has been given so much in terms of information. And yeah, as you say, the sentries are starting to, to really come out. And even a gem has been picked up. I think it's Topson who even bought it. They need it. They just need some way to be able to protect. In particular, Topson's like, I need to guard myself, so I need my own way. He buys the gem for himself, so he's gonna be able to keep tabs of where that Nyx is, because he dies and he can still die in a single stun. FY now has the full spirit vessel finished up now too, so a little bit more problems coming up for the Morphling. Also great versus Doom, but in particular versus that Morph. Such a close game this time around. 20 minutes, 18 to 15. Less than 1,000 gold in it. 
There's OG. Back in with the smoke. And tier one tower there still up. Take That's advantage. That's a good place to move from, yeah, with, with strong knowledge that there's not going to be any clear idea for LGD that this is coming into play. Obviously, it's a full five man smoke, so they may start to feel a little suspicious as nothing's being shown across the map. Rock is back up now for LGD. OG, though, trying to clear out these wards, keep tabs of where the vision is at the moment, because they have this gem. So whoever they run into, they'll know. I know that they're near. They need vision on FY and Thompson. He's got it. And the Yule setup set with the stun. If anything comes from the rest of LGD now, they'll let FYB. That point trying to fight around here. They know that they have to respect sort of OG's oh, bottom. instant kill potential. And ooh. Jarek stops the TP of Ame. They've got a good shot of getting him as well. The rest of OG can get over here. I mean, Ame, for sure, he, he's going to find Jarex, but they should have a good shot of finishing him off here. Anna slides in with the waveform. Ame trying to run away. There is x on his way over, and as you say, has got the golem, but it doesn't matter. The stuns are out, the damage is there. Anna as well being the one to claim the kill. They're able to get back up top as PSG LGD were trying to split push at the same time. But Jarex setting up for a huge kill, and now set. Instantly in, Blink Doom. It is a is fast a flash. Speedy pony. But it's also a fast Doom with a Blink up in five. Is their backup coming? And Anna's coming in as well. Anna using the War Cry to close in. FY. Stun will hold him. They pop the Linkers. They do have the chain stun. And in fact, they're doing a good job. They're burning down. X over with the Golem follow up leaves no chance for Anna to play out of, his, out of that situation. As a, a couple of. Uh, great moves from OG, but then resulting in Anna back to the feeding ways of the laning stage. And Nyx Assassin is one of the best heroes versus that Morphling, as always, because sure, you've got Lincolns. Impale on Nyx is one of those that does not matter. You cannot block that spell with it, so gets the chain stun off for his team. And sure, Jarek's getting that fantastic pick up on Ame bottom. But these last two situations, LGD did respond properly with that quick, immediate split push as their Sven was dying. Next over, getting closer to that Midas. That sort of impending power that the Warlock can offer as time goes on once that Midas is there. Gonna be here this game. As whichever way the game goes, unlikely to sort of close up very shortly. This one's got a bit of length to it. And oh, that's absolutely. only gonna benefit this Warlock. Illusion. I mean, this Warlock and even him, they have the... We could call it the infinite scale, right? They have the Legion Commander. They do. And he's also versus a Morphling. So Blade Mail. Morphling is one of those high punching heroes. If you can get the duels off on that target, if there is no save from the disruption from that SD, a lot of times where Chalice could even do quite a lot to Anna. Yeah, they just gotta look for someone to dispel that Lincoln's. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. If they if they if they find that in the fights and Chalice is there. It's the fantastic counter. This this gem is gem has been doing wonders though for Thompson still. If he loses this gem, problems will be problems will be there very quickly. Because LGD, if they have a gem in this game, they will take such hard map control. Because it's a lot about initiation, a lot about these jumps right now, as we, we're seeing. Can you actually get the catch on before anybody gets their shift off? Or so about Thompson, he's hit that. A little bit of a spike in his power. And she said to yep. look out for the level 20. It's done. And they've got Jarex with a Blink Dagger too. So now they have the real way of getting the combo out. Sure, Seb had the Blink Doom, but now they have the best way to get the Blink and Double Doom. Toxic is still going to be a long ways away from getting a Blink Dagger for himself, but he'll be able to catch back up. And Anna, very close to, uh, to having the E-Blade at completion. Yeah. Only a 2k gold lead. It's still a very close game. 21 to 17 in this one. So G, unable to find the catch down bottom set. Will show mid. They really wanted to try to get something during the downtime of no. That coming in. They see him. Thompson. He's got the control. They have that E-Blade out now as well. They've got a lot of bursts to work with. There's no home here for FY. He'll try and get a stun out, but there's the E-Blade. Power that gem. It really has done wonders for OG. Just putting a stop to, to all the little moves and plays that FY was getting away with for the first 20 minutes of the game. It's made his game a whole lot harder. Yeah. So PSG LTV, they do have that BKB finished on Sven, which, yeah, yeah crucial timing. Yeah. However, he still has to be very careful because he's versus a Shadow Demon. There's always going to be that Demonic Purge, so that Kite Factor, always being able to dispel you off of your uh, work and everything too, always going to be a bit of an issue, as we do see. Of course, I believe we see, uh, also Topson has queued up the Agonims. I think uh, Alan Nahaz was the one who mentioned it on the panel. 
great Agonyms game. It was either uh, Allen or it was Lizard. I can't remember which one. But anyway, great Ags game because you have disabled these passives. Sven without Greater Cleave. I useless. It's a lot different. And it gives you the extra charges. If he gets a Grimstroke ulti into a triple buy, you know, a triple ulti or something like that, you know, we'll, we'll get there. We'll see when we get to, if he's able to get that item. Well, I mean, as you say, yeah, not only the Sven, but also the Lash, but oh, oh, sorry, also the Legion. Am I? Jumping on mid, but there's that play. Toxic is never all oh, great jump from Chalice there. Straight to the back lines, finds Toxin. A brilliant blink duel will now set the stage for them to fight onward. The Doom is down onto Arme. But he got the BKB out in time, so not really a lot of follow up damage for him. They'll turn towards Chalice. Chalice trying to hide inside of the pit, but Anna's got the right click damage. They'll get the two of them. Double kill for Anna. OG just losing tops, and despite. That real, really quick reaction from Chalice. As soon as Thompson showed there, he was on top of him with the duel. Yeah, Ana, I think, prioritized also just protecting Thompson's gem. That's why he went to that the, that side of the fight, just to make sure he can get that, because like I was mentioning, if LGD gets that gem, it'll be really problematic. So they're able to split that fight up pretty decently. The Doom, sure, connected on the Sven, but it didn't. It, the Soulbind actually didn't connect on two heroes. It connected on the Golem. So it's a double Doom, but it was a Doom Golem. Yeah, I know, and it was a Doom Sven with BKB and God Strength pop, so yeah. he had the beef and he had that Shadow Work backup from X Nova. Top lane. Absolutely. They found themselves another one, Seb. Caught out. The rest of the team not there in time. Jarex and Soshka not in range. They'll still try and move across as Arna. He's in with the waveform. See what they can find. Arme, BKB is back available in a second. He can go for the BKB TP, but actually, yeah, no he's lasso kill. There's no lasso, and indeed he wants to fight. Maybe he's joined forces with him and Soshka's gone. He doesn't need to TP out. He can turn and kill them. And maybe he's still chasing onwards. Anna goes back at the maybe. TP. Oh, oh, Anna! Going into the spin, throwing out the stun. Maybe was not ready for that one. The duel is out. Onto him with the stun there from Arme to finish it off. They do find Thompson once again, but Anna, he's still trying to fight this. But be careful though, FY. Stun upon him, Jerex. Can he hurt him out? The sun is going to be thrown out, but he's dead. And gone, Jerex and Anna. Selfie Blade stuns there from Arme, he's ticking down the Spirit Vessel, he cannot escape! PSG LGD effectively team wiping OG as for moments there, they were all laying dead. They blow up maybe, but it's not just maybe in this game, they do have a very strong Tricor coming out. Chalice level 19, he is very threatening, Ana was beating on him and he's not taking almost any damage there. And then of course we saw poor Jarex trying to help out his teammate there and just gets cleaved. This is the danger. And FY, a lot of charges to play with. Five Spirit Vessel charges. And now they've and got the, the gem. gem. Yeah, they've and got the gem stolen. Straight in mid, Seb tried to come in and farm the wave. Soshka's trying to help his friend. Seb's gonna pop the BKB, but Chalice has the duel. More damage for the Legion. The chase down onto Soshka. The Spike Carapace on the Firefly holds him back. He's still trying to get out of there, but Arme, these stuns after stuns. So much control from PSG LGD. Leaving it impossible for OG to escape as his game that was very close for the first 25 minutes has now slipped heavily in PSG LGD's favor as OG lose seven heroes back to back. What a series of events, right? Just all the way from that top lane. That was literally what, like the last two minutes or so that they just completely chased them the whole time to get there. So by done too. For the BKB being used by Army just in case any follow up is there. And indeed, Anna comes in. Straight into the Sven, using the Warcry to help chase down. Not far away though, X Nova's gonna be the one left behind. So get the support Warlock. But Chalice and Arme more than safe. Chalice, of course, really racking up the bonus damage now. 108 on the Legion. They're gonna try forcing the Roche. It's a bit of a risky play. I mean, there is there's, buyback on X Nova and he has got Golem. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They're getting back in on this one. They're not gonna let OG get away with this. OG knows they have to try to force something there though, with the advantage that they had for a moment. They are able to get a quick D-Ward. They are gonna try and lead towards maybe, but maybe. Into the trees. BKP of course being closed in on this Lesh too, and once that's there, makes Anna's game a whole lot harder to go for that easy nuke that he's been able to find earlier on maybe his Lesh. Yeah, and he's gone for all like those, I, the, I kinda, kinda said the traditional build now on the Lesh, after we've seen Sumail in particular popularize it with the Kaya, just so much damage that you get. So he went for all of his like small items in between before going for that BKB, so he can have it longest duration as possible into this later stage. We can see that Arme you know, at the start of the game, it was, it was pretty average, but now he's getting ahead. These kills that OG's giving up to the Sven, Spiraling Arme further and further ahead in a game where he was neck and neck with the farm of Anna, but now there's a big difference. And there's another jump challenge just straight to the back lines, looking for a draw opportunity. The carry off, he drops down. The lasso was there in time. The Soshka's actually 
able to separate himself from the rest of them, but the damage from the Sven. Seb gets taken apart in two hits. And is trying to run in. Does stun the, stun the golem. And now nukes down X Nova. There's a buyback from Arma. He's having to come back in on this one. But X Nova's still alive. Finally falls. But Adam loses his life for it. Buyback from Anna. Buyback from Seb. They're trying to keep the fight going. But Chalice, he's dual Thompson. Stuns them from FY. Thompson's dead. It's a fourth buyback from OG. Oh my They're throwing God. everything into this fight. But Jax, he misses the stroke. PSG LGD are able to disengage and they will happily step away from that one. OG trying to force things there. They've used four buybacks at the least. They've got to make sure the PSG LGD don't get away with this Roche, but that's not going to be easy for them, are they? And with a stun, Anna's going to try and start taking down Roshan. They have the Yule set up onto maybe, maybe. Disrupted, bounce back as well by the flame break. Anna goes for the follow-up stun, but the BKB is out. BKB. Anna's in trouble. Seb jumps in, trying to keep him safe. But now they just turn their attention towards the Doom. Seb's dead for 80 seconds. A die back on the Doom. And now even more going for PSG LGD. They have the lockdown. Looking towards Anna. Anna turns. He's back into the ball form. The jump, the chalice again. These duels. He's no, Thompson. Thompson once again. Thompson again. This Legion Commander every single time finding his target. Anna surrounded by the three of them. Jax is going to try and do his best to keep and safe. Soshka heading back in as well. But it's just the three of them here on OG. F5 finds the stun. Jump in from Arme. Anna's out of mana. Turns back into the Nyx Assassin. But it's an easy kill for Arme. Four dead on OG. And that's four diebacks as well. As this game has fr been thrown entirely out of control. Arme, he's level 25 pretty much. Roshan's going to be theirs. I don't know if OG can come back from this one as that was probably one of the quickest 13k jumps we've seen in a while. Oh yeah, that was a complete, uh, complete swing. It is just so, so secure now for LGD. That was so many buybacks. He jumps in them. He tries for it, but Chalice. he won't get it. No mercy from Chalice this game. This whole series, this, I mean, Chalice, this yeah, Chalice has his, been phenomenal. His, his tide, and then honestly, this Legion, it's, you know, Thompson, one of the reasons why his SG is good is because he's very smart with the positioning, but Chalice, he's not making it look like that. Every single fight, Chalice, he's just able to weave his way past everyone else, goes in with the BKB, so a lot of these times he's been able to sort of BKB, walk in the middle and, and still get the blink off onto the Shadow Demon, and Thompson, he dies ever so quickly, you know, that's the weakness of the SD. Yeah, he's even also, I'm, I'm seeing him throw the press the attack a lot of the time yeah. through the dispel and heal people too. I saw him throw it on the Sven in the last fight. I think I think it was after the lasso even finished, but either way, just these little bits of healing. Yeah, he's been having great game and LGD, so much control. Now with all those buybacks, they're still dead for so long. This, yeah. is, just a, this is just a free easy rack for them. Yeah, and almost certainly more as PSG LGD know. Their lead right now, it's a very, very sizable one, especially considering how close the game was kept for the most part of it. But now it's just absolutely out of control. A full Bloodthorn on Arme. The amount of stuns that they have, I think, is, the, is really the biggest thing for me that I'm seeing coming out in these fights. Because they just have such an overwhelming amount of control. Sure, these, some of these targets, like Seb, they have BKBs, they have ways to play around it. But there's so much extra follow-up disable. There's like a Nyx stun, into a Lesh stun, into a Sven stun, and then a duel. There's just a lot of different ways that PSG LGD have been able to play around these fights. And like you said, getting into the backlines. FY giving the vision a lot of times, giving Chalice the opportunities to get and jump onto those backline heroes. As OG have to play ever so carefully now if they want to have any chances turning this around. Yeah. A lot rests on Anna to sort of give us an incredible show on the morph, but it's hard. It's getting it's harder. To just spirit vessel charges after spirit vessel charges, the amount of disable in the game, it's almost impossible for him. And you can see there just how quickly this game went out of control for OG. There's now 22k and just ever growing this lead. PSG LGD. Back on smooth sailing for a second victory as they get the jump. Anna's been found, he needs help, he needs it now. The offering's gonna be dropped down upon him as they have the self Blade. Get back, they do get the double doom off. They're trying to turn, but they've lost Sokshka, they've lost Jarex. Jarex has got a buyback available. But they're, that's the doom down. They're just too tanky at this point, and you see the itemization from Anna going for the blood. And they're able to walk up on the tops and the spike carapace. Oh catches him out into the base once more. PSG looking for a second rack. And they're ready to start diving for kills as there's only the three members of OG here trying to hold. Seb, Jerex and Anna, can they really do anything to turn it around again though? Chalice in on the back, it's a given the ramp 
plays it. Oh, he did, did he get it. That's disappointing. He deserved it. He really did deserve it. And it's game over. GG is called. PSG LDD taking game two and taking this series two to zero. And that ending to that one, it was terrifying from them. It was, there was no hope for OG after those buybacks. They bought back, they tried to go for Roche. And in a game where it didn't feel like they had to.